Well, what was your reaction, Governor, when you heard that the EDC abruptly shut down? Please, they were honest in saying the funds were insufficient. But why would they cut a check? So we didn't take the check. We give them credit for at least telling us that. So it wasn't that they gave a check and left and called. It was that a check. They said, here's a check with insufficient funds, and EDC said no thanks. Yes, that's right. And, Governor, did they say we believe there will be sufficient funds in our account tomorrow morning? We just didn't accept the check. Governor, are you angry over the apparent lack of oversight at EDC? Do you feel you are blindsided with what's been dumped in your lap over the past week? They gave indication that they would make the May 1st payment as late as, I believe it was an April 27th meeting. So up till then, things seemed to be good, and they indicated when asked specifically, are you going to make your May 1st payment, and the indication was yes. So I, I think things were going well up until then, up until May 1st. So you were satisfied. And so the taxpayers have given 32 is a very good deal. And right now we want to make sure as we go forward, that everybody adheres to the deal that we made. And so that's what we're doing. Governor, so we what do you want more assistance to 38 Studios? We definitely want to balance the success of 38 Studios, because we're in deep already, with any further exposure. So, Governor, this well, is what we're more help for 38 Studios. I'm doing everything possible to adhere to the law, and uh, that's what's occurring. Governor, what are, you, what are you doing to protect the interests of taxpayers specifically? Everything possible. And as I just described, it's a balance of making sure that 38 Studios is successful so we can recoup our huge investment and also not getting further exposed if the company is ultimately not going to make it. That, that's a tough balance. We think he owes the people of Rhode Island an explanation to come to the cameras and speak to us. He's got our full guarantee. Does he owe us? Does he have a moral obligation to present himself to the people of Rhode Island and speak? I, I just can't speak for Kurt Schilling and my energies are devoted entirely to uh, the conflict between making sure that 38 Studios is solvent and also protecting the important taxpayer dollars. Has Governor Kachiri spending all my energy on? Has Governor Kachiri called you or offered any advice or ideas? Governor, you said that as late as